Welcome to the Cross Border Interview Signature Series. From musicians to novelists, from filmmakers to painters, we're bringing you a diverse range of voices and perspectives, all united by their passion for the craft. Now we are heading back to the most recent Calgary Expo, where we met with guests from across the entertainment industry, who are all connected by their passion for their craft. Our guest today is publisher of Renegade Arts Entertainment, Alexander Finbohm. As publisher and director of operations, it is Alexander's responsibilities to run the day-to-day operations of Renegade. Before moving into the publishing industry, Alexander worked as an actor, writer, director, and producer. He directed the movie 24 Hours in London, which became a cult hit around the world. Before going on to work with producers in the UK and the US, amongst his credits, creating the internet comedy show Before I Get a Job ranks as one of his favorites. His freelance directing career includes commercials for Microsoft, films for the UK Department of Education, as well as corporate movies for firms on both sides of the Atlantic. This is Cross Border Interviews Signature Series featuring Alexander Finbo. Alexander, can I first get you to say your uh, first name and last name? Hi, uh, yeah. Uh, Alexander Fimbo, uh, Renegade Arts Entertainment. Perfect. Thank you. Um, local artist here at Calgary Expo, how does it feel to be on the last day? Have you been getting a lot of people from Calgary knowing your work and knowing what you do? Uh, it's been fantastic to be back at our local show here at Calgary. Um, Renegade has been running as uh, the only comic and graphic novel publishing company in the province now for 14 years. And uh, we're based out of Canmore, living in the mountains, just helping writers and artists in Western Canada tell great stories. So to get the chance to come into Calgary and meet so many fabulous Calgarians and Albertans and show them the breadth of diverse talent we have within the comics and graphic novel industry uh, is a wonderful, wonderful opportunity. So what do you track that up to? Because the industry has changed a lot over the last 10, 15, 20 years, especially with the introduction of artificial intelligence. Uh, what do you chalk it up to that Alberta is still turning out so many great artists, so many great storytellers in the comic book genre? Hmm, that's an interesting question. It's, it's one where we talk about. Uh, Calgary really is the, the creative hub of comic creators in the, in the country. Like It rivals Toronto for the sheer number of Uh, amazing talent yeah Um, I think Toronto would claim that they have a few more but it's close like we have uh, A-list talent like Fiona Staples who is still the number one uh, artist working in comics at the moment with the best-selling saga series with Brian K. Vaughan like she's a born and bred Calgarian and then so many others including Jarrett Hartnell uh, who we've just published uh, his uh, new book uh, Shout Kill Rebel and he's been writing, doing the art, and he letters and does design himself. Uh, he's worked on it for six years, and it's a beautiful horror western, and it's fantastic. And it's like, yeah, just a Calgary guy doing, doing his creative dreams, and people are loving the book. And Sorry, I was going to say, one of the great things is that people pick up a book on, say, Thursday or Friday, they're reading it, coming back in the next day, go, oh my God, I love that book. What else have you done? Can you can I get a sketch from you? Can I buy a piece of original art? Like you get to see firsthand the enthusiasm of your readers where normally everyone's just at the drawing board or on a computer locked away in a room, like away from like that in human interaction that you get from being in a, in a convention like this. Do you see the industry changing over the next 10, 15 years or do you think it's still going to be turning out the great content that you're turning out today? I think great content will always be around. The tricky thing is the, the economics of comic book publishing. And it's the lowest margin, highest cost uh, form of publishing that you can get. Um, so that's tricky. And technology helps a little bit. And I'm personally very excited for the evolution with uh, display technology, that we get to the point where we have that sheet of clear plastic with a tiny little battery and a little receiver transmitter in it and you just click on it and it loads up like crystal clear high resolution comic pages and you just click the button and you're reading it and it's at full size and you can zoom in and it's brilliant and then when you're done you roll it up and you put it into your bag and it hardly takes up any space when we get to that point and I know HP and some of the other companies have been working on their like they they call it uh, electronic paper for a while now and they haven't quite cracked it. Like the power source is a little bit too big. 
Like the, the transmitter and receiver is just a tiny bit too big, but phone technology is pushing it further and further along the road. That when we get to that, now, people will be walking around and they'll be coming up to shows like this and go, oh yeah, I've got, I want your new book. And they'll have their electronic paper and they'll tap it on the table and it will load the creator's book or the publisher's book straight onto it and the money will change hands automatically and it'll be fantastic. And then we won't be spending thousands and thousands of dollars on paper. They will still, I think paper will last forever because we all know how transient digital technology is and how fast it moves and your stuff becomes obsolete. But I'm so excited for digital paper. <laughs> so what advice would you give the next generation of comic book writers and comic book artists out there? Because there's probably someone in Canmore right now or up in Onway or in Lethbridge or all the way up to Fort McMurray who's like, I want to start a comic book. I want to be in the comic industry, but it's challenging. There's challenges that need to overcome. And I'm not sure if my work is going to be able to be the next Todd McFarlane, be the next X, Y, and Z. What advice would you give to that person right now? What advice would I give to up-and-coming uh, Albertan comic creators? Comic book creators across Canada. Canadians? Okay. My advice for Canadian comic book creators coming up would be to, uh, to practice, to draw, do short stories, get into anthologies, like keep perfecting your craft and read. Read things in the genres that you, you like and then try things in other genres from different um, creators like biography work, like history. Like It's important to have a breadth of art styles in there. Um, it's a very competitive industry to be in and only a small number make it. Now you can always tell your own stories and self-publish, but if you want to be a professional, you're going to need to put the time in. And my last question before I let you go, but for Renegade Arts Entertainment, what's on the horizon for you guys? Well, it's funny you should ask that question. Uh, Renegade has uh, just published Shout Kill Revel, which is a fantastic horror western by uh, Calgarian Jarrett Hartnell. And then in, uh, no, in May, we have Quid Pro Crow by Bill Slavin, a beloved uh, children's illustrator in Canada uh, and he's done a great dystopian uh, graphic novel series, a mystery adventure set 100 years in the future after the collapse of civilization due to climate change and civil war. And then in September we have book six in the Shame series by Laverne Kondrzewski out of Winnipeg and the legendary watercolor comic book artist John Bolton from England. It's a beautiful fantasy series about a virtuous mother who gives birth to a powerful daughter who decides to use her powers for evil. You know, classic mother-daughter drama. Uh, in a fantasy uh, genre. And then The Indigenous Walking Dead is coming in October. Richard Van Camp's, the first book in Richard Van Camp's uh, graphic novel series, the Weetigo War series, called Roth, illustrated by the American illustrator Christopher Shy. Which is gonna be awesome. That, is, that series looks and, and reads fantastic. Like Richard's just knocked it out of the park. I'm looking forward to it now. Thank you so much for doing this. Greatly appreciate it. We want to thank Calgary Expo for inviting us and having us for this four-day conference in downtown, beautiful downtown Calgary. This show could not have happened without their support. Now, if you've enjoyed this show and you want to keep up on all the latest signature series that we have coming to you, hit that subscribe button now. Until next time, stay informed, stay engaged, and most importantly, but as always, just keep talking.